when you first run the menu it really appears to be just a simple application launcher you know but it's actually far more dynamic than it appears to be and I guess it's a trade of the suckless software actually but recently I was thinking you know I want to have a playback control uh, menu and I know that I could probably get a plug-in or something or some sort of modular system uh, going so that I can have that done but I was like you know what let me just get this done through a uh, simple script in bash and although I'm not an expert you know in bash I just recently started learning it uh, I came up with a very neat uh, script that runs really well and I think it's very minimalistic you know in the in the sense that it just gives you core features that you'll need for uh, playback controls right so I'll go through the script in a second but I'll just show how it runs and here on BSPWM um, I have it set up to be super alt and P so if we see here this is the menu so it loads up uh, all of the um, instances of media playback so I have chromium and VLC and it can also handle uh, multiple uh, instances of, of programs so let's say if we go back here and we go to VLC we'll see that it's open here if I were to open another instance of VLC it will populate the others the the other instance it just uh, loaded and we'll see here that uh, it has no information and it stopped because I just opened and there's nothing there um, but let's close that so anyway um, let's check out the actual script or no actually first let's let's run so if I go to VLC I put uh, play and uh, I muted the speakers but just so you can see the playback is happening here and I'm just playing uh, a simple song here but just to demonstrate how it works uh, if we go back in here it'll the status change to playing we can pause that um, and then let's go to chromium here I have uh, Foo Fighters playing so let's play that uh, let's go back here and we can see I've got a, uh, this video playing uh, let's open the menu again and pause it. I should really add uh, in the future probably controls to go back to the beginning of the menu so that if you change your mind and you want to pause or play something else you don't have to restart the whole script. But uh, anyway let's do a quick rundown of this script here. So let's do a nano that script slash media slash player okay so uh, it's a very simple script I'm really proud of the fact that I got it done in not many lines I think it's like maybe 50 60 lines um, and without comments it'll be less than that too so it's very straight to the point so this script depends on a uh, player CTO we need an interface to actually um, get the instances of media playback and this thing will handle like I guess most or all I'm not too sure but so far for me I just use Chrome and uh, VLC basically but I, I was looking at uh, the Arch wiki I believe and I think it supports a lot of other players so anyway the first thing that I do is that I get the list of active players and I save that right then I make an array of the active players now um, so I, I tried to kind of create like a structure sort of within this but it's just a structure of arrays um, I'm not an expert at bash but you know I just decided to use arrays as a structure and so internally this was kind of annoying I mean not extremely annoying but um, somewhat annoying but there is a array for the actual name the internal name of the playback because if we do uh, let's do player CTL uh, list we'll see that uh, it's not really I guess user, user friendly like if you load this up you don't want the menu to show chromium dot instance like it's just weird even for me it's bizarre so um so what I do here is that I create a separate array for um, for the user display basically the 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 active playing display so that it's prettier in the in the eyes of the user and then I also have a status uh, array which basically just uh, chucks the uh, 
the status of the player as I as I'm building this. So I have a for loop here, and uh, in this for loop, I just check and see uh, what's the name of the um, of the player because if it's you know I want to make it pretty when it prints out. I mean it's not very necessary. I guess if you just want to brute force your way through, you can use the Chromium dot instance blah 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 whatever, and it'll be fine. It'll work like that, and you can use it later. But I felt that displaying it more pretty is a little bit better. And so I created this uh, position array because later on uh, when I pipe it into D menu, uh, the only issue that I have with D menu is that I'm not exactly sure of how to get the index of what was selected. So what I did is that I just added a number to it to know what position it at, it's at at uh, the list here. Uh, so that's why I created that variable. But anyway, um, then at the end, I just add this quote unquote cancel option here. And uh, I put the the last position that was uh, incremented, basically, and it's um, you know the the last one within the list. So then um, after that, I use printf to uh, format this into a uh, string uh, delimited by a new line, and a new line will force well not force but it will tell the menu to make a new column uh, instead of just printing it all on one line. It will say all right, Chromium column. Uh, VLC column cancel. Then um, what I do is that I go down here and I parse out the um, the number of the um, of the position within that list. So that's why I added the the position variable here. And then um, since the array is uh, beginning indexed at zero, uh, I have a correction here and I decrement the index of the array. Then I check whether or not it was canceled or if null because um, if you select cancel, then uh, obviously you want to close the menu. If it's uh, if you press escape, I think that internally uh, this is recognized as null. Select will not have a value, so then I just uh, I exit out the the script so because you know it's closed. But otherwise, um, I then try to parse out some some metadata. And uh, I then reference the internal name by that index because uh, that's why I created that position in the list. Uh, and then I send the command to player CTL to try to give me metadata information. And if no metadata information is available or, um, or it has no metadata, then I just replace the metadata line with um, uh, information unavailable. Then uh, this is what makes D menu so cool is that um, I then rerun D menu again to now display this information that um, that I've that I've gathered here in the metadata, and I set up a prompt, and in the prompt I have the display name here for the um, for the player, the display name, not the internal name. Then I have a uh, a line here going through the status, and then finally the actual metadata information. And then uh, I check and see what command is run because if we run the the menu here, uh, I then check is it uh, rewind, is it fast forward, is it play pause, and if it's cancel. Um, and I check those and then I basically run a command based on which one it is. And that's all of the script, honestly. It's just, you know, 59 lines of code. It's very, very easy. Uh, for me, it was the challenging part is uh, really bash. If, if this were Java or C, I could write it really quickly. But there's just some syntax rules that I just don't know in, in bash. But um, I think that this script turned out really well. And uh, I, think, I think the one thing that I might add is a back button here, um, back here, just to uh, allow you to, uh, well, not here, actually, I think here to allow you to uh, go back into the menu if in case you selected something wrong um, or you want to just go back to pick something else to change uh, that. But um, that's pretty much it for this script. Um, I'll post it here under the description and if you guys want to use it, modify it, that'll be really cool. I'll also start a GitHub. I think I have an account there and I'll post this there too. Um, and you guys can have some fun with it. I'm not showcasing it on DWM, but this should work on any 
uh, window manager that you can use uh, D menu within. So I'm sure it'll look really great in uh, in DWM actually because the theming here is actually from my original DWM install on this laptop. Um, and I'll and I'll go back to that and uh, use it. But uh, that's about it for this video. Uh, please subscribe and like if you found this video useful.